Have you ever looked at a mountain and wondered how it was made? As a geologist studying rocks that formed under intense heat and pressure, my research goal is to decode the natural processes that build mountains, like the Himalayas. During my PhD, I've been studying Connecticut's section of the Appalachian Mountains. When they were forming, about 400 million years ago, long before the time of the dinosaurs, the Appalachians would have been nearly as tall as the Himalayas are today. I got the rocks for my PhD from a quarry in northeastern Connecticut. The rocks are full of crystals of garnet, a beautiful red mineral that's sometimes used in jewelry. While I was studying a thin, polished microscope slide of the garnets, I was shocked to see the intricate textures of tiny needles that you can see in this photo I took through the microscope lens. The needles are made of different minerals, including quartz, and they're arranged in geometric patterns inside of the garnet, which is sliced so thinly it appears clear in the background of this photo. Now, this is an extremely unusual texture to see inside of a crystal, so I analyzed the crystal structures and chemistry of the needles to understand how they formed. My analyses showed that the needles used to be part of the garnet crystal, and they were squeezed out as the rock moved through changing conditions deep within the earth. My work shows that the rocks started out as mud on the ancient ocean floor, and they were buried 200 kilometers deep, far past the bottom of the crust, where they reached temperatures as high as 1,100 degrees Celsius. That's 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The garnets then formed their beautiful needle structures as the rocks returned all the way to Earth's surface, traveling 23 times the height from sea level to the top of Mount Everest. We published our discovery that these are the deepest crustal rocks known from anywhere in the United States. And it's so exciting that we can pick them up off the ground today in Connecticut, where they form the roots of the Appalachian Mountains. So, why does the depth of these rocks matter? By developing new ways to understand the journey a rock took to its final destination in a mountain chain, my work unravels the physical processes that build mountains, piece by piece. This helps us understand how Earth's continents were built, and how other planets might form continents too. So the next time you go hiking, take a look at the rocks under your feet. Each one has an incredible story to tell about how it got there.